Hello my friends, it's Claire here and it's been a while. I'm coming to you today to show you an unboxing of Galen Leather Folio, green folio in Crazy Horse Leather. I have been drooling and dreaming about this leather folio for probably about a year. Um, I've got a little bit to say about uh, the packaging and how my folio came. I did order this from uh, Atlas Stationers in Chicago and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Um, I'm showing you right now obviously the um, the label that's typically around your folio uh, when it comes shipped to you and there is some wonderful information inside the box that tells the story of Galen Leather. Um, they sent you a wonderful charm and it's a charm of the evil eye. There's a lot of history behind the evil eye. Basically it's to ward off evil spirits or any bad juju, bad karma, whatever you want to talk, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I encourage you to, you know, pop over to galenleather.com and read their story. It, it's a beautiful, wonderful family business that's owned and operated in Turkey. Um, all of their leather items are handmade with the utmost care, um, absolutely quality materials. Now, what's cool about Galen is you get that little tag right there that shows you exactly who made your folio and the date that it was made. That's phenomenal. It's also going to give you some information about the quality of leather that you're getting and how to care for it. And if you listen all the way to the end, I've got some tips and tricks for you as well. Now, behind there, you're also going to see this beautiful, beautiful portrait, picture, painting. It's not a portrait. It's a little, it's almost a, what is it called, a postcard? And I cannot pronounce that name, but on the back uh, from Ramy, I mean, there's a little quote right there, and I'm sure you can read that. Y you know how to read. <laughs> but that's beautiful, and that is going in my journal, I'm telling you right now. Um, here is this really great little charm of the evil eye. In every purchase that you make with Gay and Leather, you're going to receive an evil eye charm. And it usually comes attached to that little tag you saw in the beginning. And it explains the meaning and the purpose of the evil eye. And it's very symbolic in Turkish culture. So here we're going to be moving on over to my folio. Now, here in a second, you're going to see me adjust the lighting. Can you see the dings and scrapes and scratches? And there's some, there's some evidence there that it was something pointy, you know, kind of punched around on it a bit, and now I'm changing the lighting to try and show you, to try and capture the absolute beauty of this green leather. The, the, the video does it absolutely no justice. But while I'm opening up and showing you this leather and trying to find the right lighting, let me tell you a little bit about Crazy Horse Leather, leather because like I said, for a year, I've drooled over this notebook and wanted it so bad, so I've done my homework. And there again, you see those puncture, like the marks going in there. And this thing was already, I'm, I'm pretty sure I may have accidentally got a floor model. I might email them. I may not. I'm going to ding it up and use it anyway, so we'll see about that. So it, what is Crazy Horse Leather? Well... Crazy horse leather is not actually from horses. Did you know that? <laughs> of course you did. Um, it's actually, crazy horse leather is just another way to refer to saddle leather. Um, it's made by, or the leather itself is treated with a, a really special kind of wax that is only put on full grain leather. Um, when they apply this wax to the leather, it helps to smooth out and enhance the fibers of the leather and, and I believe they only do it to vegetable tanned leather as well. But when the the leather after after it's been tanned or or dyed and then the, the wax is applied, any type of scratch or rub that uh, that occurs to that leather is going to make the natural color of the leather change its shade. And ordinarily we would call that pull up. If you have any any kind of uh, chic sparrow traveler's notebooks sometimes if you roll them you'll get a pull up <coughs> pardon me 
but it just kind of gives it that antique weathered or <clears throat> vintage appearance basically it's going to give your leather piece whatever it is the ability to kind of grow with you and show your story and it just brings an amazing quality to whatever leather whatever leather item it is that you have and um, it's really just going to be able to uh, take the normal wear and tear that you would usually you know to an item like this that you're going to be using all the time and it just enhances it just gets better and better and better with use and time you know also this leather will absorb the oils from your hands too so over time it's going to get a kind of shiny patina to it which is really interesting i don't know if you noticed that when i first pulled uh, the folio out of the box it already had a patina to it so i'm that's kind of where i've you know I'm guessing that it was a floor model because it was already kind of shiny. I'm a little sad, but um, I'll live. So um, <clears throat> the wax that's applied to this leather that gives it you know, the name Crazy Horse Leather, it also protects the leather. It helps it with uh, water resistance and um, to be more durable over time. And, you know, if you use this a lot, um, it's going to develop that nice patina, but also another cool thing, especially if you live in a humid environment like I do, is that that wax is going to help the leather withstand different conditions that would normally deteriorate other leathers, like humidity or um, rain, food spills, um, if you have kids, grimy, yucky kid hands that want to grab your stuff and, and see everything, it's going to help your uh, leather repel mold and fungus and insects as well um, and now I'm not saying to go outside and put your leather in direct sunlight and do anything crazy like that but it's also going to give it some protection against uh, normal sun exposure as well I personally like to bring my writing items things um, that I use on a daily basis my traveler's notebook you know this folio and I like to bring those things with me on the go every single day and one of my favorite places to write is you know out in the sunlight out in the nature and the out of the doors <laughs> so it's going to have that uh, a little bit of extra protection just like a layer of you know SPF 100 on it I would say um, so that's really interesting about this leather it's 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 got so many different wonderful properties to it um, and that's the little pin case the or the little pins pin flap that you can either leave in or take out to carry your extra pins in. Now, if you are someone who does not like the look of the antiquing and the scratching and the wear and tear on your crazy horse leather, I actually have a quick tip for you. And I may try this on my folio. I'm not quite sure. I, I haven't really decided yet if I want to shout them out an email or not. I don't know. But what you can do is you can rub some leather oil into it. And if you're already a Traveler's Notebook fan, then you, you already know about conditioning your leather. But uh, rub it over with some leather oil. And then what you're going to want to do is to take a nice clean, peeth, peeth, a nice clean piece of maybe flannel material or something. And then you're going to hit that with a hot hair dryer for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then you're going to take off that flannel and you're going to buff the leather with that clean dry cloth and you're going to buff it and you're going to see a lot of that you know character kind of buff out of your leather so that's really important to know and, and to help you take care of your leather over time as well this folio is amazing it has an incredibly sturdy like that's a i mean business kind of zipper right there so you don't have to worry about stuffing that thing full and worrying about your zipper popping which is a big deal to me because i'm an overpacker and i love to stuff all of my bits and bobs into things of this nature you know I am so excited to finally get my hands on one of these because like I said I have dreamed about it for a year I'm not rich I'm not a collector of all things you know writing and, and quality and fountain pens and, and whatnot but this is something that I've wanted and I have dreamed about for a year and so I set aside about $20 uh, every paycheck and put it aside until I could afford to finally buy it and I'm so very glad I did. Galen Leather is an amazing company. Like I said, a family owned company. They're making everything by hand in Istanbul, Turkey. And they're just fantastic, wonderful, lovely, lovely people. 
and I truly feel like if you go to their website and you research you know the story the backstory of their company and you know you're just gonna find so many things at every single price point on their website um, I'm currently saving up again for the writer's box but go there check them out you know you will absolutely find something that you adore and something you need <laughs> just like I did so once again galenleather.com everything is just so beautiful from there um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it's you know, not my typical type of video but I hope you enjoyed it anyway you guys stay inside stay safe observe the quarantine and thank you so much for watching my video bye bye